decided to draw Superman flying up on a gigantic head of Darkseid as they face down over the nightmarish world of Apocalypse. Trust me, we'll get there. As you can see, drawing with Google Tilt Brush is really a paradox. It's like drawing and sculpting at the same time, as you have to mentally compose the shot in 3D as you create a 2D line with your arm. It's akin to painting, meaning your whole body gets into the action. It's quite a workout, but different because the paint can't mix and is completely opaque for the most part. I find you get the best results applying the lines loosely and with energy, putting in your medium value colors first, then adding shadows with color on top of that layer, and then your highlights on the very top, almost like a three-tier cake. Constructing 2D elements in an infinite number of layers is what creates the sculpting feel. And once you layer enough, you get something like this. In many ways, it's like placing cut shapes of colored construction paper and suspending them in air to create a floating mosaic. You can even take what you've drawn and thrust it into outer space. The coolest thing about creating in Google Tilt Brush is how engaged you are as an artist with what you create. It's like installation art, but more so in that it's something that can be experienced, not just at different angles, but at different scales and in different lighting schemes and environments. You can literally walk through your art, and it has a three-dimensionality and life to it that a canvas simply cannot convey. Each vantage point gives viewers a different version of the same image. Seeing it displayed on a 2D screen can't quite articulate how amazing and otherworldly it feels wearing VR gear and inhabiting the space created by an artist's imagination. There are some amazing built-in tools which allow you to create glowing lines, electrical effects, and even smoke. What's really cool about these tools is that you can use them to help blend the colors and create an environmental effect. Here you see me painting in Darkseid's dreaded Omega Beams and having them zigzag to take out our intrepid hero, Superman. Luckily for him, we pull back to reveal that this is all one big horrible nightmare Clark Kent is having that everything is A-OK. -okay. 